Welcome back to Transit Review, and this is this month's transit news. Several bus service improvement plans have been given funding support from the Department for Transport. These are Portsmouth, Stoke-on-Trent, Greater Manchester, West Yorkshire, West Midlands, Liverpool City Region, North East and the North Tyne Combined Authorities, Reading, Norfolk, Luton, York and Warrington. Notably, several bus service improvement plans from other regions have therefore failed to gain funding from the Department for Transport, such as South Yorkshire. The DFT also announced that £5.7 billion in, in funding is going to be given out to England's eight city regions to quote-unquote level up local bus, tram, rail, walking and cycling networks. Part of this funding will go towards a West Yorkshire Mass Transit System, improvements to the rail services in the Tees Valley, a flat fare on buses in Greater Manchester and a bus rapid transit corridor in the West Midlands. Furthermore, the Department for Transport has announced the light rail tram networks in the Midlands and the North are going to receive £38 million to support them and ensure continued operation. Manchester, £20.5 million, the North East Nexus, £7.3 million, the West Midlands, £2.7 million, Sheffield, £4 million and Nottingham, £3.3 million. Though, in response to this, Campaign for Better Transport, Transit, a charity focused on transit-related issues in the UK, has said that even those that have received funding will not have received all the money they requested, and will therefore have to cherry-pick which improvements they can deliver. And Campaign for Better Transport is warning that, with an estimated £10 billion needed by the local authorities to improve bus services, the money awarded today falls woefully short. And the other major news for West Yorkshire, the West Yorkshire Combined Authority has announced that Turner and Townsend are to become partners in creating the Mass Transit Plan and the business case for Mass Transit in West Yorkshire. Turner and Townsend are experienced in the field, having worked with Transport for London, HS2 and several others to aid with transportation. And that's more or less it from this month. Not much has happened, more just teetering on. I really hope you have enjoyed this video and as always thanks for watching Transit Review and have a great day.